What's up YouTube, Tender Director back at it again with a new video. And today we are doing something a little different. Today I will be looking at four bus themed video games. Now I'm not reviewing your thousands of bus simulators. Today I will be looking at a few unique games. Some good, some bad. Today we will be looking at Omnibus, Crazy Bus, Snakey Bus, and Desert Bus. This video is mainly just mini reviews of each of these games. Starting off with Omnibus. Omnibus is a PC game released on May 26, 2016. This is a very unique game as it is almost a platformer more than a racing game. Levels take place in a small environment where you have a certain unique mission per level, such as destroying tombs, skydiving, or just getting to the end of a level. One of the more unique things about this game is the fact that you can't accelerate or decelerate. You can only move right or left as your bus goes a certain speed constantly. You can only die by falling off the level or being flipped over. A couple problems I have with this game is that the soundtrack can get really annoying. Just really plain and boring techno songs. And I understand that this is an indie game. And to a certain extent, some parts of the game may be limited due to that. But it can still get pretty annoying, as most of the songs are just plain and boring techno songs. And once you beat the game, it doesn't have a whole lot of replay value other than collecting hats and getting gold medals on all levels which require you to beat the level under a certain time. The game can also get pretty frustrating at points. But this is a pretty good game to get when on sale. The missions are really creative and you can unlock some new buses that add a lot more variety to the game. Overall, it is a fun 10 to 15 hour experience. I'm not sure if I need to explain this one. Crazy Bus is one of the most notorious games ever. Other than having the worst video game title screen ever. <laughs> Crazy Bus is one of the worst video games I've ever played. Crazy Bus was released on the Sega Genesis in 2004. There's the pretty girls, and the popular girls, and I look like... The game only consists of being able to move your bus forwards or backwards. You can also honk your horn, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. All that is to this game is moving forwards or backwards and getting a high score from doing so. You should never play this game. You get the whole experience from seeing the gameplay. The only redeemable quality about this game is that there are some translations that are funny. Like a bus, the school bus. But that's it. Fuck this game. Snakey Bus is a very unique game. Released in 2019, unlike the other games I've previously shown on this list, this game gives you full movement of your bus. Your goal is to pick up passengers and drop them off at selected locations. The catch is that every time you drop passengers, your bus gets a little longer, making this game very similar to the game Snake. There are many small levels and this game acts as a very fun arcade game. The longer your bus gets, the more points you have. With more points, you can unlock new cars and levels. There are also multiple game modes and some really fun maps. It's probably my favorite game on this list. It's easy to pick up and hard to master. If you stop moving, you lose. You can always drop off passengers at the objective, but when you get a certain amount, the objective is shown to you. But you can only keep a certain amount of passengers at a time. However, there's not a whole lot of content to this game. There are around 10 levels, but I keep coming back and playing this game, even if it's just for 20 minutes. The soundtrack is also nothing special, just various lo-fi hip-hop and plain SoundCloud background music, but other than that, a really great game. Desert Bus is the final game on this list, another very notorious game. However, I find the backstory to this game a bit more interesting than Crazy Bus. In 1995, Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors was planned to release, but was cancelled due to the lack of sales from the Sega CD. The Sega CD was an add-on to the Sega Genesis that allowed to play full video from CDs, a new format at the time. 
Desert Bus was included as a mini-game, but it's honestly a full-fleshed game. Desert Bus was made as a joke by Penn & Teller, comedic magicians, to be a response to the anti-video game mentality of the 1990s. Games like Mortal Kombat and Night Trap caused Congress to make an ESRB rating system. Violent video games increase aggressive behavior as much as lead exposure decreases children's IQ scores. So to combat this, Penn & Teller created the most boring game ever imaginable. Desert Bus is an 8 hour experience from Las Vegas to Phoenix. You cannot pause and you can't just leave the game idle. You must occasionally turn your bus to keep it on course for 8 hours or else you lose. The game is a joke in of itself and for that I respect it and appreciate it more than Crazy Bus. It's still awful and you should never play it but since it has been released, thousands of people have streamed and played this game. And the game has almost become some sort of a cult classic. There's even been a VR sequel released recently. And for that, I can appreciate it. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for more shitty videos, and remember to always keep grinding.